So with dry shampoo, if you don't know, you basically put it on your scalp and this is the part that you might not know. I did not know this even using like the aerosol one initially for a long time. Um, I didn't know that you would spray it on your scalp. I didn't know that you were supposed to like massage it in and let it sit and then massage it in. Um, so <laughs> that was problematic at first, but I know that now. So basically the way this works is you go to your roots and especially like for me, like where it gets away, see how it does that powder? And it gets in there and you're gonna see it. I mean, you can't really see cause the lighting, but it's spraying it. You can probably see some. Um, woo, yes. And what you're gonna notice is it also gives a ton of volume. So this is like, this hair is like a couple days old. Okay, so I'm gonna massage it in, just with my hair. Like you can use a brush, but you can already tell, like it's looking like more volumized, but not greasy. Um, and I'm gonna let it sit a little bit, and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, so I've let it sit for a while, and you can already tell like my hair looks so much fuller, right? Um, and I have a ton of hair, so um, it does make it easier. I love doing this um, and kind of getting it set in before I curl it, and then you know I just curl these ends, and it's boom nice and big and healthy and i i literally didn't have to use any other product i just have let it sit um obviously the ends <laughs> need to be curled but that my friends is dry and you can see my hair i don't think i've ever showed my scalp to people like that before um it doesn't leave it white and you can see even in here i mean the window is kind of misleading but it doesn't leave white powder how great